Welcome to Dexter Plays Flotsam. Uh, this is a indie game from a developer out of Belgium who's called Pajama Llama Games. I love the Pajama Llama. I have, actually, I, <laughs> the Llama Llama books. I have to, I've read a lot of those to my, my kids, so yeah. Uh, this is uh, an open world-ish survival game in a slightly flooded environment. We're going to start off here with a boat. Let's go ahead and get going. We'll talk a little bit about it. Um, it is it is a fun little mechanic. Uh, it, it's not going to take us all that long to really get to the end game, if you will. There is no specific end game. There's just, I run out of content. <laughs> but I want to give it a try anyway. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got three different stories here. We got Bubblehead, Pearl Lutol, and Sponger. These are the people who will be on our boat. Um, there's a couple of things about this. Some salvage, athletics, salvaging. I love that. Construction, a desalination, and a research and fishing. Sure. Construction, desalination. I think I'm going to re-roll this guy here. Let's re-roll him. Athletics and salvaging, along with construction and nautics. Boat speed. Nice. Looks good to me. All right, so these will be our three survivors on the boat. Well, that's it then. Garbage floods wiped away our village. Perhaps we should stop sticking to these useless rocks and go explore. Who needs land? These endless blue waters, that's all we need. The blood, the flooded world is our oyster. Let's polish this plastic into beautiful pearls. Uh, if only we weren't out of fuel. <laughs> what should we call our new town? How about we call this town... Um, actually, Garbage Cove is, is too bad. But... Uh, Ooh. Ar Arctic Camp. I don't know. Sound good? Sure, let's start our adventure. All right. So we got camera controls, resources, and buoy markers. Let's talk about the UI really quick. This is our boat. This is where we get to, to do our stuff. Uh, we currently have the capacity of up to 12. We have 12 of 15 total water capacity. Each person on this boat... Can I pause? Yep. Each person on this boat will consume one water each day. So we need to be able to produce water somehow. Uh, early on, it will be desalination. Later on, we will find other ways to do that. We have food. We'll, we will be consuming one food per day per person. So then we got three days of food, four days worth of water. So I got three days to figure out what I'm going to do about food. We've got power here. Power is being generated by the boat. Uh, I can also augment that elsewhere, but the boat gets powered by that crank right there. So I'll have a survivor go over there, crank, and charge up the battery to full, and then we use the, the battery as we go along. Primarily at the moment, only to use basically to get this guy moving. That's what we're going to be using power for. Uh, and then uh, we're going to go on down to the bottom here. This is all the things, by the way, that we, we want to collect. So if I say, you know, I don't want to collect that stuff, I can turn it off. It'll gray out. Down here, we're going to see all the markers on the on the environment. This is saying, hey, I got some stuff here, right there. I want to go swim out there to go grab some stuff. These guys will drop off, go over here, swim over here, start grabbing all the things in here. And right now, there's 28 plastic waste, and then there's three floaters. These floaters are you basically you're making little, little floatable barrels out of it. You can, in, you can shrink the area you want them to collect in, or you can enlarge it. Um, I'm going to enlarge it to max because I would just go grab the whole thing. And then I can also take that marker back off if I want to. At some point, I might have boats that I can use instead. And also, if I find a place where there's some fish, I can try to go fishing for these guys. Uh, fishing requires uh, some capacity to do that. Uh, and then we've got our inventory here. Right now, I've got 9 food, 12 water. That's the only thing I've got. This is my research. I don't have the ability to do any research because I don't have the correct station yet. This is where I can build. And I've got five categories to build in. Actually, five categories to build in. Town, workshops, water, food, and power. So here I can create more more walkways out of plastic. I can create some more storage because I have a maximum amount of storage that I can store. Which if we look in here, right there, I can get 100 things. I'm going to take up quite a bit of that here because I'm going to have 62 things coming in. And then I'm going to need to do something with that. Uh, underneath the water... Actually, I didn't go all through that. So we've got some beds and other things we're going to do. I'm going to go through these things as we get to it, and we'll come around to it. Now let's see. Up around here, here's my three people. One guy's about to go in the water. In fact, if I go back to this buoy, 
it says, how many guys do I want to jump in the water? Well, you know what? If you, if you can throw all three people in the water, it's fine. Up here is my power overlay. This is saying where all my power is coming from and where I'm spending it. So if I want to figure out how the power is going, I got a map. We'll look at that in a second. There is weight. So right now I am very light. So I only have 75 things total. What is in storage and the buildings all add up. So you can't stockpile and hope to save weight. You also can't just spend all of your resources into buildings and save weight. Basically, it's a one-to-one -one conversion. So once you pick it up, you got to account for it. This will go from very light to light to, I think, moderate to heavy to, he to very heavy. And then your after have very heavy is you're stationary. You don't get to go anywhere anymore. A number of people I have in the town right now, it's three. I don't have any capacity for housing them, though. And then this is how many boats that I have and how many mooring points that I have. And then this is the breakdown of all of the common stuff. But if you remember when I looked down here in my inventory, my inventory right there. If you look at the inventory, actually, I'll look here. Oh, this will be better. You can see there's more than what's listed up here as far as the wood goes. So I got wet wood, dry wood. I got, you know, regular plastic waste. I got metal scrap. I got fish. So all this stuff is here, but you'll notice, the, for example, fish, not up here. So this is just your critical stuff up at the top. And it's trying to tell me right now I have three drifters that don't have a home, so I need to do something about that. In addition, there's my water and my food right up in the front. This is early access, by the way. Speed of how fast you want the game to go, what day of time time and day it is. When it gets down to here, they're going to go to sleep. And then you've got some your report for the day. You've got your, uh, your objectives, yeah, your notification log. And then you've got this survival guide that's going to tell you all about stuff. So if you want to, you can go through and read this. I'm not going to bother with that right now because I've played this game a bit. And we're going to come back and just do a fresh run. So I'm going to let this move forward. There goes the people. Jump in. And you'll see they come over here and they'll grab. Each one of these little spots in here is plastic. So I, I really enjoy some of this stuff. For example, when you see them grab plastic, you can see the progress very clearly on, on here. Now that we got some stuff, I can do things like I can do a drying rack. I can do a plastic recycler. I can do storage i can do a walkway we're going to start off with a walkway i'm going to do it off the front here you can connect any to any of these places here but you'll end up with a shortage uh, sooner or later and i'm going to click there and oh, here let's click here can, can i go nope you're not gonna let me do it okay i'm gonna do one right out front right you're just dumping all right, so I need to come out a little bit. There we go. So what you're going to be doing is all of these buildings that you could build will connect off of either the direct side here or off of platforms. And right now I'm going to create some platforms for future build. Here we go. And saying I'm a little shy on the scrap. Yeah, I don't have enough floating pieces for that. But I'm going to make some. And I want a plastic recycler. I'm going to stick that plastic recycler right here in the edge. And I got a plan here. How you lay out your, your town in and of itself does not have a direct impact on the performance of your boat. I could do this all the way up to the edge and something on the far, far side here. And it will still go straight. It won't do what physics would demand that it do, which would be basically run around in a circle because the drag isn't balanced. This game doesn't have drag in it, so basically when you build it, it just goes forward with whatever you got hanging on there. And the only thing it does is it comes over here and says, oh, wait, you got more weight. So you can already see that I'm on 133. I got a guy building this. Now if I click on the plastic recycler, we can actually say, hey, I want you to convert plastic waste into floaters. I'm going to be using floaters, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to click on... Just as, as long as you've got plastic, go ahead and convert it. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I think this was four. That was three. So as soon as he's done building another one. Well, we're done. We've collected all the stuff that's here. Got a guy over there who's probably trying to figure out how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. 
All right, now it's time for us to take a look at the map. I'm gonna pause for a second, let's take a look at the map. So this is the map for Flotsam, and you can see there's things all around us. These are, this is primarily wood. This is primarily plastic, that's fish. Uh, these things, polluted wood, will give you miscellaneous. If you click on it, it, it should, uh, actually, can I, can I, no, I have to get over there. This will give you a variety of things. Mostly it's gonna be wood. Uh, and then we've got seaweed over there for food. I need some wood. I need plastic. I need food. Yeah, we're going to head on over here. Let's go right to here. So now if I do this and I click on move, it's going to move on over. And when it's done, I can come back into regular mode. There's a little arrow up there telling me where I am. It doesn't actually come back in and give you... I, I feel like every time you click on the map, it should center. But it doesn't. All right, so we've got some wood here. Let's go ahead and throw these guys in the water. I'm going to go ahead and go large because I want to clear the whole thing out. <coughs> I'm going to throw everybody on that. Now, internally, they do have a, an order for which they're going to build on. And I have not found a need to mess with the order. So I think it's all fine. Manage maximum output of production. So I want to say, hey, you know what? Produce less. I can. <coughs> Pardon me. And there's the order of things that are going to be the construction. So if you want to mess with this, you first certainly can feel free to do that. I feel like it self-balances itself actually quite well. All right, now that we've got that going, I think I need a drying rack. And I'm going to need one more plastic for that. I'm converting that in. I'll be ready. There it is. Bing. Now I can put it here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right there. That should be wide enough that for future builds, I'll be able to add to it. And basically, I'm going to put a, I'm going to do docks like this way. I'm going to go put a dock in that way. Actually, I'll show you. I'm going to do like a dock that way, but I'm going to do a left click on it and uh, or right click on it and just cancel. If you want to see your progress, you can click on this to see where you're at. I got nine wet wood. Well, guess what? I need dry wet wood. So we're, this is going to be a passive thing. So they're just going to hang it. And then they walk away, and then over time, it'll dry its wood. Um, in the beginning, I'm going to need a few of these, but very soon we'll be able to upgrade to the point where I think you only need one to keep up. Uh, let's go this way. And I'm going to start putting some wood down on this thing here, back here. Remember, I can use this as well. How are we doing on inventory? We're doing all right with inventory. I probably would want to consider doing something bigger. All right, so I've, I've cleared off, pause. I've cleared off that one spot. If we look at the map, we'll see now it's gone. I'm going to go right to here. Move down. Oh, this is a good spot. I got lots of stuff that I can go for here. Nice, very nice. Come back, come, come back out. Thank you. So here we are. I've got a number of things I can get. I get some plastic, which I know I need. So let's go ahead and grab this plastic buoy. I'll stick it over here. And I'll go ahead and throw one person there. I'm going to throw in another buoy over here. Throw a person into that. I think actually I'm going to, I'm going to up this by one so that way everybody's working on diving if they need to. I should have somebody throw something on the drying rack here. It's on. Come on. Another drying rack? Yep, please. And you see over here, this is the uh, open guide, but if you look here, these are the notices that I'm getting. I can see when I got these notices. We're all good. I don't need to look at that stuff. Moment. So we got that going for plastic. We'll have somebody probably heading over this way, but he's currently working because I got infinite work going on over here. You guys finish this stuff off. Are you going to ever get something loaded? What's the deal, man? I don't remember having to mess with this. Let's 
see here. Water gathering, selling, building duties, cooking duties, crafting and workshop duties. storage yard. Maybe I can put that right there. And that is going to require just floaters. Okay. Alright. That I see I got two wet, 28 wet wood. So that means I got two sitting on the racks. Why don't I see the wood on the racks? I want to see the wood on the racks. You need four dried wood. enough people? Is that what's going on here? You can see they're stacking up all the goodies here. So I've got plenty of wood. I'm going to go off and grab some seaweed. This little shortage, this small storage gave me another 20 capacity over here. Uh, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Yeah, that's full. My main section isn't full yet. Can you still have hung up some water? Some dried wood? What's going on there? Waiting for resources, you say. There we go. Thank you. Now we got some wood drying. That's because you did your two things. Perfect. So what's over here? Sure. Let's send these one of these guys over for that. And right now I'm in pretty good shape. Got a lot of floaters at the moment. The next thing I would like to do is to start making a chop shop, which means I need rope. So I need some workshops. I need a working shed. I need a rope shed. I don't need the scrap smith yet. I might just build a couple more drying racks. Because in the beginning I'm going to have a, a high need for a lot of dried wood and I won't have anything stockpiled. There we go. <clears throat> Let's speed this up. Some more dried wood. Good. I'm at three. One more. And I'll be able to put a workshop over here. There's my workshop. Let's get our wood workshop up and running. I'm saving this for some larger stuff. <clears throat> And after that, I need to do a rope crafter. And I also need to get the food thing going. This is day one. Remember, I had three days worth of food. All right, everybody's going to go to bed. You're going to just fall asleep right where they are. <laughs> I do need to make a house. Three houses, really, for these guys. And that'll be tomorrow. I probably could have done it already. But usually, it's okay. Now, if you look at these individuals while they're sleeping. <laughs> speed this up so I can get through the night. Uh, you'll see that they have water needs, food needs, sleep needs. If they don't have these met, I'll lose a, I'll lose a dot. And so I have basically three to four days before things turn ugly. Uh, if you lose, run out of food or run out of water, you die. If you run out of sleep, you just get this 
exhaustion that makes you go super slow and you can't get anything done. Bing, I'm exhausted. Fair enough. So you guys keep doing your thing in the moment. I've got plenty of floaters. <clears throat> I think while I'm at this, I'm going to go ahead. Where's my, my storage at? My storage seems to be fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. Let's go ahead and throw one guy here. Grab that stuff while we're here. Then after that, we'll go over here and grab this the seaweed-covered rocks. But I'm not going to do that yet. Let's cancel that. That way I have a couple of guys still working over here. I need to do infinite wood planks. I really don't need to, but we're going to be doing it. In fact, I'm going to turn that off now. I got that loaded. Because I'm going to start needing some uh, firewood after this. Uh, in fact, hold on, let's do a right click there. There's a bed. What do you mean I can't put one in the bed? Yeah, I thought so. Do I put it right out in front or do I move it off the side? I think I'm going to move it off the side a little bit. Each person needs a bed. Two more planks for another bed. Then after that, I need to do a work a rope crafter. <clears throat> and at the moment, we're just going to sit here and keep clearing up this stuff. I have one person left without a home. Still doing pretty good. One, one more plank. Come on. And then after that, I need four more planks. That's for the rope crafter. And then after that, I need four more planks. Here, Lord. Fully salvage that one spot. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start this one up with the person. Get the rest of the seaweed and seaweed scrap there. There's my last bed. Perfect. All right, so now we're pretty much, we're good there. There is, I thought there was a fishing spot over here too. But I'm not going to really worry with that at the moment. Let's go ahead and take a look. So that's done. I don't care about the seaweed, at the, I mean the fish, because I really can't deal with fish at the moment. So I'm going to come over here towards the wood. Let's go move down. Nice. All right, we'll throw in a buoy. That doesn't look all that good. Just a few pieces. Out of wet wood, I've got the two things. Great, I need two more to get to the crafting point where I get this. You'll see this is lit up. It'll usually light up as soon as you've got uh, enough salvage to create something. This is for electricity for the energy pole, but I don't have anything that requires electricity right now, so we're not going to bother with it. I don't need to worry about doing another uh, bed yet, so I'm going to wait on that. At some point, we'll want to do desalinator, but not yet. We're going to go food first because I have three days of food, now two days of food, and three days of water. All right, let's take a look here. Where do I want to put the rope guy? I think I can put him right here. Everybody can sleep? We go sleepy. Go night nights. All right, we've got uh, one, two, three, four. That's going to be for the food. And then one, one rope. We done over here yet? No, I got three pieces of wood left, and then we're done. 
Uh, there is... So I can also just send guys out here to grab this. It's a little slower because of the distance. They do have to swim. But that's usually not such a big deal. And it doesn't mean I have to move the boat. But I'm going to move the boat because there's, there's little reason not to. Alright. So let's go ahead and move the boat. Wait, what? There's still some salvage here that I missed? Where? Where did I miss salvage? Over here? Go get it, man. What are you missing? Oh, there's that one piece right there. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get to the map. We're going to move. There's wood there, and there's plastic here. I'm going to go over here. Move down. When you're moving, you can't be in this, this view. You have to actually convert it over. All right, so how are we doing on plastic? we got a bit, bit of wood. Let's go ahead and do the plastic thing first. There we go. Um, I've got, yeah, I should start cranking out some more wood when I get it. We're doing really wood on, on the uh, floaters. So I feel like maybe I should add the one extra here. Get that done. Okay, we got the wood thing done. Okay, let's go over here and click on him and say, give me one piece of rope. That will allow me to do the chop shop. You're looking for just planks, so I need four more planks for you. There's the four planks I need for that. Wheeling away, making rope. Chop chop. go. Next is going to be the desalinator, so I still need four wood for that. But with the chop shop, now I'll start be, I'll, I'll be able to make food. One day to spare. And they'll make it out of seaweed. Come on, finish up the chop shop. All right, one, two, three. That'll give me enough food for tomorrow. And I'll keep doing that a little bit at each turn. I've got two more pieces of plastic, and then we're done with that. And then we're going to come over here and grab some more wood. There we go. So now the wood's cranking. Got lots of floaters. Let's see where we're at. So the next thing I'm going to look at is doing a research station. That's six... Six more wood after the four. One, two, three. There's three of it. And we're coming up now on the desalinator. Now this desalinator is going to take uh, campfires, firewood, which I need to convert from dried wood into firewood into the water. I mean, it's just this long, complicated thing. And I'm going to want to get rid of that as soon as I can. But this is going to be the basic build. To get going in the game once you've got this set up going you're pretty much good for the early game and how am i doing I'm about to crank out two more in fact what i should do I need one more there's a one two and three right yep one one two three i need three three firewood to be able to get the desalinator working so i need one file one firewood per water And there. Actually, I should put it on the other side. Hold on. Take a second. Don't, don't, don't do that. I want you to do it over here. Can I get you to do it over here? Now with adding a little bit more of this. All right, let's do that. Too much. There, three. You do have to leave the area right behind the uh, back propeller open. One of the nice things about uh, being able to deconstruct as I just did, 
is uh, it will deconstruct all of the construction resources used to build it back into its resources. So you can de add, construct, deconstruct, reconstruct, keep throwing things back in. It's actually quite nice that way. You go there. Very good. All right. So like I said, this is our basic setup. I've got uh, housing for three. I'll probably go to four. I find four is sufficient to get to the end game without much of a problem. Um, some might say five is more appropriate, but you know, I, I, like I said, four seemed just just fine to me. Um, there might be a little bit more of a grind on the uh, on the researching side of it, but let's go ahead and take a look at our map. So there's a green flag that just went up here. That tells me that this has already been looted. So I don't need to go there again. Uh, let's go over towards the motorboats. I'm going to come over to there. And I'll see you when we get there in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows In the corners of your mind with the windows I run but I don't hide I hear the call of the wild Whispering the name No, I can't be tamed My heart belongs to the night I'm alone, I'm alone I'm, a, I'm alone with I'm alone Long wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a long wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a long wolf, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a.